Well, fall Friday nights are a little bit better under the lights at a football stadium, or as we head into winter, those weeknights in the gym cheering on your school against your rivals. These are all great, and while it takes a village to put on a youth sports game, the most critical part is making sure the game is played by the right rules, which is where officials come in. Right now across the country, there is a shortage of youth sports officials. There's several reasons for this, but we know without the refs, the games simply do not happen. Joining me today, two officials from here in the Brazos Valley. I've got Tara Jackson and Mike Thornton. Thank you both for being with us today. My well, pleasure. All right, so let's start with this. And full disclosure, I made my money in college by refing hockey. I was a soccer ref for a little bit, so I can empathize with what you guys are going through uh, and what you have to put up with. And unfortunately, you have to put up with a lot. Uh, and it seems like it's gotten worse and worse over the last couple of years. Um, we're going to try to convince people to come and join you as referees. So I don't want to get too you know, negative here. But what have you noticed in terms of the fans in the stands, really it's parents and coaches, uh, and the attitudes that you've had to deal with? Go ahead, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd just like to say that I think that more of the, the parents in the stands are more intense with their their kids and mm -hmm. the focus of making sure that where the pressure comes on the officials they want to make sure that every call is called correctly yes um as far as the school administrations they're pretty much they're with the with the referees right so we really don't have too much of issue with that uh we get their support at every uh event that we have to go to yeah, and I, I don't, again, I don't want it to make it seem like parents are, are, are terrible, but, you know, I, one bad apple ruins a whole bunch, right? So um, you guys, I understand you are getting paid to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, however, it is not a livable wage that you guys are being paid to do this. You're doing this out of the kindness of your hearts because you want these kids to participate and succeed in sports and in life, really, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I guess there's no amount of money that is worth being yelled at. Uh, and taking that kind of you know, verbal abuse. At, at most levels of officiating, high school, uh, even collegiately, uh, with the exception of the professional leagues, uh, officiating is an avocation. It's a part-time mm -hmm. hobby for most people. Mm -hmm. They do send us a check, and I must admit my wife's really happy when those come in. I sign them, put them in a little box. <laughs> right, occasionally I get something for that. But the, the, the primary officials, most officials do this because they love the sport. Right. Like I enjoy going back and being involved in the game, being uh, around the kids that are involved in the game. Um, and it's understandable that parents uh, and spectators, not just parents, but spectators in general, uh, they have a vested interest in one particular component of that game. Yes. Right? They, they focus on either their child or their team. And as officials, we're not allowed to do that. Our, our, our main focus, our main goal is to try to adjudicate the rules equally and fairly for both sides, and that can get problematic. Yeah, uh, so let's get to what you guys are here for, and that's to try to get some more people to join you guys and officiate basketball this winter and hopefully beyond. Right. Uh, we need more officials. There's currently 140 members in the College Station chapter of the Texas High School Basketball Officials Association, and I'm told that's not nearly enough for the 100 or so schools that are in the Brazos Valley. When you think that most schools, even um, even the smaller schools uh, like a Franklin or other places, they have programs in their, their girls junior high, boys junior high, mm -hmm. usually a seventh grade team and an eighth grade team. Then they have your freshman team and a JV team, boys and girls. Um, There's a lot of personnel to put in place to, to fill those games. So uh, a set of two officials is not enough to cover you know one one evening of games. So, we need bodies um, yeah. for sure. And we're actually currently in the process of undergoing some training. We have some new officials trainings that's going on this Sunday and next Sunday. Uh, and people are interested in come out and join those trainings and we'll, we'll get them ready. It's not enough, but we can get them sure. ready. Yeah. Sure. And Tara, you've got great perspective because uh, we need more women. We need uh, more officials, women to right? come out and join us. Um, if you enjoy being active and you enjoy, if you have some knowledge of basketball and, you're, and you enjoy being around the youth, I would encourage someone to come out and join us. Yeah, it's very easy to get started. Uh, we'll put that information back up on the screen of who you need to contact. It's Doug Williams there. Um, no experience required. It helps if you know the game a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll help you out. Um, but you'll get necessary training. You guys have those trainings yes. coming up, right? Yes. Very good. Uh, we'll, we're going to get all that pertinent information on kbtx.com. Tara, Mike, thank you both so much for being here. Hopefully we can get some people uh, to come out and, uh, and officiate. And, Go easy on them. They're doing. They're doing their best. Okay. They're doing their best. <laughs> yeah, lower your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's just simpler, right? All right. Thank you guys right, so much for you. being here. Thank you. Yeah.